Welcome to the Fish Island Village YouTube channel. This video series gives you an overview of the key features in your new home. Of course, there's more detailed information in your handover pack and any relevant operation manuals. This particular video relates to the Slimline dishwasher. So there's a few key features I'm going to show you first. Um, turning the dishwasher on is the first thing and running through the cycles. I'll then show you the operation of it working. You should be able to hear that on the video. I'll then open it, turn the program off and go through more maintenance regime. So turning the dishwasher to the on position. So straight away it's set at, uh, in this case, 65 degrees, 30 minutes. But if I hold the program down, there. So now we're gonna be able to rotate through the different functions. So let's say I wanted the Eco Wash, 50 degrees, that's now set. Obviously I'd have to put some powder in, which I'll discuss when I open it, and then shut. So you should be able to hear that starting. There. So that's started in its cycle. And obviously prior to handover, as you can see there's water on the dishwasher, we've run everything through a cycle. Um, so that's why there's water kind of in the machine already. So I'm gonna turn that to the off position now. Um, so to go through where the rinse aid and the powder goes in first, um, if you click this button up, and then this button. So the rinse aid goes in, in this side, and when you start to see the rinse aid getting towards the maximum level here, you then purely just close the lid, and that probably lasts anywhere between 10 to 20 washes, and it will illuminate a button on the top to say that rinse aid is low. The other one is basically the dishwasher tablet. Once you've unwrapped it, some tablets don't need unwrapping, but the majority do. Place it in there, shut. It'll automatically unlock during the wash cycle. So, let's start on the top shelf. Come out. The way to open the, um, the holders, this is for the um, pans and, uh, and uh, plates, is just to lift up and fold in. Just gives you a great variety and kind of flexibility um, for the use in the top shelf. So I can close that off now. Coming on the bottom. So you've got the, obviously this is a new machine, so I haven't released the cutlery tray, but this one here is for the filling of the salt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this tray and put it on the floor so I can get inside the machine. So when the machine shows you low on salt, you are gonna to have to initially fill the machine with salt. So the way you do that is you wanna take this, move that to one side, you get the small filter, place it in the top, and now you're in a position to pour the salt in. When you stop, you, well you only stop filling, it's more than you always think, you only stop filling when you start to see the salt inside, and believe me, it always takes more than you think it does. You then release, put the cap back on, making sure it's securely fixed, and you must run the machine through a cycle before you actually put anything in it and load it. You can run it through a um, eco-friendly or maybe a rinse cycle, but there will be a salt residue. Any kind of salt you've overflowed or anything it touches, it will taint the um, actual items in the dishwasher if you just load it at the same time. So it's important to run a cycle after you've refilled the salt or during first operation. So maintenance wise, I can get in here, I can rotate that, I can lift this out. Now what this is, is the filter strainer. So if I pull this apart, these are just regularly cleaning items. This stops all the bits getting through into the drainage and clogging up the system. So again, regular maintenance, having a quick inspection to see if there's nothing in there. You can wash all of these manually in soapy water. So that will go back in through there, press that down. You can remove the, again, any inspection, any kind of minor cleaning. And then if you want to, you can actually remove this section as well, giving you access to any bits that might have got stuck in there. Make sure the machine is turned off and you can actually just clear them out manually. There's nothing really more you need to know other than that. So if I can do everything in the reverse operation, pop that back in, that spins. And put this back through into the cycle and lock. So the two orange triangles 
all they have to do is meet together and it's in the lock position. So that is the basis, um, basics of the dishwasher. Uh, I'll just quickly close the dishwasher there. Okay, and I hope that video was of use and thanks. See you on the next one.